Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. So I am back, and this is the first episode of Sit and Sketch. As was mentioned in the last video, we were provided a prompt by the beautiful, the wonderful, the amazing Victoria Adela. And that prompt is Mushroom Garden. I'll be honest with you guys. I started out with traditional means when trying to come up with this whole mushroom garden scene in my head. I knew roughly what I wanted the character to look like, but I wasn't completely sure what I wanted the garden aspect of things to look like. I just knew that I wanted her outfit to be inspired by mushrooms. So I used a few different mushrooms to come up with her outfit. I did some research, obviously, on different mushrooms that I thought were beautiful. I wrote down a list and I didn't end up using all of the mushrooms, obviously, unfortunately. However, that being said, I was able to use a few of them that I really, really liked. Now, I started off this sketch by using traditional memes, as I mentioned. However, that being said, I noticed very quickly that this was not going to work. And I'll tell you why. That is because I make a lot of mistakes. And I knew that because I didn't have a solid idea on how I wanted the garden itself to look like, I needed to do this in digital art. So I started off with the sketch. As you guys can tell, I quickly went in with the black line art. Now, let me tell you, this was mistake number one, because you will see that I did not stick with this black line art. Spoiler alert. However, I tried to stick with it for a long time because I thought it would look kind of like a coloring book, you know? But again, I did not end up sticking with this. However, that being said, I did stick with it for a long time. working on the hands. As difficult as hands can be to draw, I really do love drawing hands. Um, however, that being said, as you can tell, my proportions can be a little bit off. I am not great at drawing anatomy, but I really do try my best, y'all. This skirt, you guys, was the most difficult part of the drawing. And let me tell you, if I would have put in as much effort to the rest of the drawing as I had on this skirt, I would have absolutely been in love with this piece, I think. But because I didn't put in as much work on everything else as I did on the skirt, that is why this piece is not necessarily my favorite piece that I've ever done digitally. However, that being said, I am still proud of it. I do think that I did a good job. But there are obviously always things that you wish you could have done differently. Uh, here we are. Start drawing the mushrooms. Um, Obviously, I'm not completely finished drawing my girl because you will see me go back and forth on it. Um, I initially was just going to do yellow mushrooms as the mushroom garden, but, you know, a garden consists of many different things. So I was like, you know what, let's try to draw some other mushrooms. Let's let's incorporate some some other colors in this mushroom garden besides just yellow. I just finished doing the line art portion of things. I start with the 
the grass and the sky as far as colors are concerned. And then I get into the yellow for the yellow mushrooms. I've mentioned this already, but I wish I could have gone into more detail with this piece, but I don't hate it. I do like this piece. I do think I did a good job, and I, I, you'll see. I really do like the outcome of it, especially because I'm not a colorful person. I typically draw very, I don't know how to describe it. I don't necessarily just work in black and white, but my strong suit, I would say, is traditional with graphite uh, pencils. So, you know, colored pencils and um, colorful art just in general is not necessarily my strong suit. However, I did try my best. All right, so I started working on her mushroom umbrella and I changed up the colors a, a few times. I worked on the shading a few times. Um, this was difficult too, like the skirt, um, but it was a lot easier just because there was less uh, detail, I guess. Even though there was still a lot of detail, there was less detail than the skirt. Here we go. I started adding the color of the bodice portion of the dress, and I really liked the pastel pink color. I also like the pastel colors I used for the skirt portion of the dress. I wanted to stick with pastel colors for the majority of her outfit because I knew that I was going to have some bright colors to contrast. I felt like it would be too much to have her also be in bright clothing. Here we go, doing the skin tone, the different variations of tones within that. Alrighty, alrighty, adding the dark, adding the light. Now let me tell y'all something. I worked on this hair like so many times and I hated it for so long. So here I am adding some red mushrooms amongst the uh, white and orange mushrooms just to add some color. Like I said, you guys will see, I start adding pops of color here and there. Oh my goodness. So you guys, after adding these purple mushrooms, this is when I realized I am sick and tired of this black line art and I started going in on that skirt. I was like, nah, we need, and I'll be honest with you guys, when I finished doing the skirt, I was like, I'm sold. I, I now need to do the rest of this all in colored line art because this ain't cute. Like I am not sold on this black line art at this point. So. As you can tell, I started going in on the bodice with the pink line art, and I was in love. So I was like, this is it. This is it. We're not doing this black line art. I am for sure. I, I am settled. I am sold. That's it. Colored line art here on out. I do not care. So I started doing the pink, and then I started doing um, the brown for her skin tone, and I was like, boy, I am a happy camper. Here we go. I'm going in. I'm trying to fix the colors of the skirt. That skirt was... It was... Girl. All of it, really. The, everything. Having to go back in with the different lines, too. The different... Um, 
the pencil and also the different colors. Oh, girl, next time for a next sit and sketch, we're going to try to be more planned out. This was, you know, I, I'll forgive myself. It was the first sit and sketch episode. This is only episode one. So I will, I will forgive myself a little bit. But let me tell you, that was so difficult trying to go back in and do the different colored lines and the pencil instead of the ink pen. Oh, girl. I started going in with the colored lines for the mushrooms and just redoing the the stems in general just because it was just unnecessary i was like you know let, come on now friend let's just let's just let's get to it we don't need to be doing all this detail for the background why are we trying to do all this detail it don't matter So I did a little bit of detail, obviously, for the purple mushrooms and the red mushrooms. Um, I try not to go into too much detail for the white and orange mushrooms, just because the, it, they're in the background. It's no big deal. Um, I start drawing in grass. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit of highlights here and there for the red mushrooms. Yep. Okay, that's good. Doing a little bit of line art for the white or uh, beige and orange mushrooms, but not too much detail for those ones. So here I am just going, just adding more details here and there because the piece is nearly complete adding more mushrooms to the background so that way it'll look more bright and colorful. As you guys can see, I ended up adding taller grass. I thought I recorded it, but apparently I didn't. Now, this is the final product. I hope you guys like it. And please, please, please share your art with me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you came up with for the prompt mushroom garden. Please hashtag mushroom garden. Marie J, tag me on Instagram at Marie J's art. And I will be sure to look at the pieces that you guys came up with. And if you guys feel comfortable with it, let me know. I would love to feature some of your art in the next video of Sit and Sketch. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe for more content like this. I will be posting again next Friday. And as I mentioned, that house tour gonna be up soon. Don't worry, don't worry. I still got a few things I gotta, I gotta clean and you know fix here and there around the house. It will be soon, don't worry. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will see you in the next one.